Hello and welcome. In this video, we're gonna take a look at an application that we're gonna be creating throughout the next couple of videos. So let's take an overview of what this application is gonna be, take a look at what its requirements are and some other features that we desire for this app. So for this project, for this application, we're gonna be creating what we're gonna call a gradebook application. This gradebook application is gonna have a number of different features one of them is going to allow teachers, so we're gonna pretend that this is for a class or a classroom, that teachers can create assignments for their students. Students can then create submissions for the assignments that are created by the teachers, and then the teachers can submit a specific grade for the submissions that are coming in from the students. Now, this section is gonna be fairly lengthy, so some of the things that we're going to be talking about are going to be designated in optional exercises and optional lectures. So at the very least, we'll have a functional application and then the rest of the features and functionalities can follow afterwards. So what are the functional requirements of this application? We're going to have our application create assignments that are going to be listable within the asset publisher. So what this is going to mean is that the assignments that we create will be integrated into LifeRay's asset framework and thus be able to leverage all of the features and functionalities of an asset within LifeRay. The assignment is also going to be searchable. So using search within LifeRay, we'll be able to find these assignments that we create. We're gonna be able to limit control of the assignments and the application as a whole. So we're gonna take a look at permissioning and how do we control the permissioning of the application. The application will also be configurable and will also add some uh, support for localization or support for other languages. As far as non-functional requirements go, we're gonna be creating this application modularly using OSGI. Of course, we could have one giant monolithic application, but we're gonna create it modularly. We're gonna have the data persist into a database. So whether it's the default hypersonic or MySQL, the data has to go into a database. When we're creating assignments as well as submissions, we're gonna have some validation. So we're gonna make sure that the text that's entered in specific fields are gonna be validated according to the requirements that we set. And finally, we're gonna have some basic level of integration testing. We're gonna see some of that within the optional exercises. So the way that we're gonna be designing the application is we're gonna be using some of LifeRay technologies and some LifeRay best practices. So we're gonna be using MVC Portlet, that Portlet class that we discussed previously. And we're also gonna be using a tool created by LifeRay known as Service Builder. Service Builder is gonna help us do exactly as it says, help build out our services. So as for design pattern, we're gonna be using the MVC design pattern, creating the model, the view, and the controller. So the model is gonna be taken care of by service builder, the view and the controller will be our portlet application, our portlet module, I should say. We're gonna see how each one of these different parts are going to be interacting with one another. So the user will see the view and as the user interacts with the view, it's going to be sending requests to the controller. The controller is gonna manipulate data at the model level, and then the model is gonna push that data back to the view so that the most up-to-date data will be displayed. That's gonna be the long story short there. Since we're gonna be following a modular design pattern, we're gonna have a number of different library modules. Knowing what we know, we're gonna have a web module for our portlet component, and we're also gonna have an API and a service module to have the API and then the implementation of the API. So once we hit the exercises, this is going to be an overview of how we're going to build everything out. We're gonna create the API and the service modules as well as define the data model, what makes up an assignment and then how do we get that over to the database side. From there, once we take care of the model layer, we're gonna head over and implement the controller and the view layer we're gonna be creating our portlet module, which will be the controller and the view. Once we have that taken care of, we'll then implement some permission checking as we call it, or access control. 
So we're gonna make sure that the users who are able to do things with the application have the proper access and those who do not, well, do not have the proper access. And then finally, we're going to implement our assignments into LifeRay's asset framework and search framework. So even though it looks like four easy steps, we're gonna, of course, break these things down into smaller steps as we go. Let's take a look and see what this application is going to look like. So we're gonna have a list view so that we can see the assignments. And in order to create assignments, we're gonna have a form that the teachers are able to fill out. You'll see that some of the fields on this form are gonna be required fields. Once we create an assignment, we can click into the assignment and from there start creating new submissions for that assignment. A submission will look something like this from the teacher's perspective and then the teacher can then grade the assignment. So that's an overview of the application that we're going to be building up. That wraps it up for this video and I will see you in the next video.